Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 12th episode of the broadcast. I'm your host, Sango, with my co-host, Katasama. Yes, and uh, your boy, King Kata. Ha-ho. That's why it, it it has the summer, because you know, royalty. The summer actually mean royalty? I thought it was just like a respectable term. I think, I, I think it's someone who's like really... Uh, ro- it's like kind of royal, kind of like up there. So that's what you think of yourself. I, I, it's like it's just a nickname. No, no, I'm curious. If you actually think highly of yourself, that's fine. Uh, King Katana. Yes, no, I thought it'd be like. So it will be like, and then Sun will be. Sun will be kind of like relative based. Sun is, right? I think it's just like a normal, uh, polite term you call everybody if you're just being polite. I think. I'm not sure. I'm not Japanese. I wouldn't know. Okay. I just thought Sama sounded cool. It's like, oh, it's Japanese. I'll put it in with my name. Boom. Username right there. That's, that's my thought process, anyways. This is better than. <laughs> On uh, my old names, I remember using Syndrome before. It's kind of yeah. stupid because I thought it was original for one. Uh. It turns out, in the, the Incredibles already took that, so I was like, I don't know how many. Years. It took it ten years before me. I took well, it. you're just an Incredibles fanboy, unknowingly. No, not really. I like Frozone though. I think that's the only character I like, and that's it. Mm. And then Incredibles 2 is kind of mediocre while watching it. I mean, it's a kid's movie, but I, th- I still think it's good somewhat. I don't really remember Maybe. it, though, so I, I wouldn't know. I don't really remember any... Yeah, I only remember Sinjo. I don't even remember who was the last villain in uh, the second one. Yeah, uh, some girl with short hair. Mm, yeah, I, I remember they got mind mind control, the goggles. Um, <laughs> I, do, I, do, I don't remember yeah, I at all. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So earlier, well, mind, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. So earlier we were talking about uh, my weight. I said I have COVID body now. So I thought I was getting fat, but actually. I've been no, losing I I weight. I've I know you thought I was saying I was getting fat, like COVID body. Yeah. Except I have been doing the opposite, and I've been freaking losing weight, which I I <laughs> I'm not happy about. <laughs> so I just weighed myself today. I just went to seven today, and I weighed myself, and I lost two and a half kilos. Two and a half kilos. So, so now you're... 59.5. Wow, Kata, I'm almost as heavy as you. I mean, you should be heavier than me saying. Yeah, so I don't see what, what the problem is with you. The you're, problem you're is, I lost two kilos. Look, look how skinny I am now. I've lost two kilos ever since COVID. I I'm blame COVID. I'm going to pull a talk card. You <laughs> no. look the same to me. I lost two freaking kilos and I'm not happy about it. I, I, I just, now I'm just trying to eat more. Yeah. We're probably That's just it. in reverse than most people. We're not, we're not couch potatoes. We're couch. What would be that term for us? Couch. Sticks. Couch. Uh, no, it still has to be like something you can eat, like couch asparagus uh, or something. I don't know, whatever you use to eat to, to lose weight. Yeah, asparagus. Yeah, probably. we're just uh, we're just the opposite. We lose weight instead of gaining it if we do nothing. <laughs> Which is good. It's I mean, good it's good to other, some like, people, but people. Like, like, just like. Uh, how people want to lose weight. People who lose weight instead of, uh, instead of gaining weight want to gain weight. 
So it's kind of that it just has the opposite effect. You you have I mean you well, want to what a, you don't have. But this opposite of most people. Yeah. I mean it's not that significant, I guess, but I just want to be back over sixty at least. So, over Shouldn't 60. be that hard. Maybe you're just not eating enough anymore. Yeah, you that's what I. That's what noodles. I. No, that's what I thought because, oh, recently I just haven't really been eating that much. And there's not really that much food in the fridge either, so. <laughs> so yeah, I can't. I mean, I can't really blame Dad because he, now he kind of makes these kind of portions instead of like just making a giant pan of food. You know, he just kind of like mm. separates portions for everybody, and that's basic. And on his, it's. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it's like I usually eat more than that, so I think that's probably. Fair, why. Like some days it's just one plate for sometimes, yeah. and then just the food gets stuck in the fridge. Yeah, sometimes. Also, also that food's not really meant to be put in the fridge as well. Hmm. I feel. I, I think it is. I think it can be. Thai. Thai food in fridge and it's questionable why do we have like those uh the what are those called like the baskets instead of like putting it in the fridge not the because baskets. our fridge is full of random stuff you know like the baskets like they put on the table the what what baskets i you put on the table to protect, oh, to protect the food that's just protecting them from flies and bugs also <laughs> It lasts longer, I think. No, I still think you could put Thai food in the fridge and just heat it up because I've done that many times. Okay. Yeah, we do have a lot of flies there as well. Yeah. Because we don't even do hey, the basket thing. Not, not... No, we, we had. We have, and we don't do that. I remember, anymore. like, when it was my turn to ever clean something, I just. I just stuck. I yeah. <laughs> what, when I was no, there, I used to. That's just I too used easy. to <laughs> get all the food and then put it in a basket. That's it. And then my job's done. Then I wipe the counter, wipe the table. It's all good. And I mean, then... yeah. I guess it's not really any different from just putting it in the fridge and then leaving it in there for a long time and then just eventually throwing it away. Leaving right. it in the fridge is. You're more likely to not eat it. Well, yeah, but like you so sometimes, sometimes I do eat the food, the leftover food in the fridge. Uh, just saying, just saying, sometimes if the food is good. It's like comparing it to the basket. You want the kitchen counter to be spotless with nothing on it. With the fridge, it's just a block, and then you stuff the food in there and you forget about it. Yep. You know, I'm surprised That's we don't have like any it. worms in there or anything. Worms? I like I yeah, usually the wild. I think there would be tape We're worms clean or something. People for that. We basically just stuff the food in the fridge. I mean the only thing I've seen in That's there normal. like any animal I've seen in there is probably the little geckos that go and get stuck in there while we're not looking. You know, Jing Jocks? But no, I think the only animals that also get stuck in there are the food that's on the plate. Well, yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Well, yeah, do like the... <laughs> are what they're called in other places. I don't know. I just call them geckos, I guess, for English. So in Thai, they're called no, jingjok. Me... So yeah, they're like kind, of, they're like little geckos, about that long, I guess. But they can go. I don't know how long. They're pretty small in general. Apparently, apparently they're exotic. Exotic. Ge in geckos. other places. No, like house geckos. <laughs> I think the Eng that's the English term for jingle. Like house geckos. Really. Uh, I think it's in Europe, and then I guess probably America they don't have, and then Australia as well. In yeah. Australia, they're too small, and then they can't face off like against like actual monsters over there. 
I don't know, man. I just think geckos are exotic. <laughs> I can't really wrap my head around that. <laughs> because we just and see we just them crawling like, like, oh. everywhere. Look, there's one right there. There's yeah, one right think... there. Pretty sure I can find one here, too. But I mean, just think. Like of all the fruits that we have here that are also unique. Like oh durian, ooh, so cool. I Freaking guess overrated jar like ass. No, no, no okay. Pinky, no. Disgusting. Durian is delicious. Durian, I get why it's called no, the king of fruit. No. It's so it's it's so yummy. The king of fruit. I wouldn't say it's the best fruit, but I can see why it's called that. The pig of fruits, that's what it is. I, it's so good though. Durian is amazing. Especially when it's no. cold. When it's cold and it has just is a there, tiny bit of mush, not you're... too hard, not too hard, not too soft. It has the perfect mush to hard texture. It's so good. Mush to hard texture? <laughs> it's yes. like. It just melts. That's what rotten fruit does. It's yummy though. It's they not have like rotten. oranges and apples. They're firm. It's not <laughs> but durian, you can just tear it off. Yeah. And it's sticky. That's 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 They're the appeal. That's why it's so good. As well. It's so good. I it tastes amazing. I don't know what. I can't really describe the taste, but it's a good taste. For me, we are at least. clearly cut from the same cloth, except my cloth is a lot cleaner than his. <laughs> Say, durian is just good. I, I don't know what you're going on about. Now, liver on the other hand, that is ass. Liver sucks. Liver is a delicacy, Kata. Yeah, oh, you durian is it? Not. Kata, durian is infamous for being like split amongst many people. Like people can like it, like you can either love love it or hate it. That's it. Liver is like different. You can make. Like, I feel like you can make the same that. argument it's, it's with liver. I think no, you can. You yeah, you can. I feel like it's just not as well known as durian, but it doesn't make it any less. Uh, I don't know how do you say it? It's still like split in between. I feel like. It's still that because, uh, Tita, our sister doesn't like liver. Uh, I don't like liver. You like liver. I don't know if Pat likes liver or not. Who knows? I don't just know. A, I just ask ask your friends or something. Amongst, I'm just a good one amongst our siblings. That's it. What do you mean the good one? Just because you like liver makes you better than us, huh? huh? No, because <laughs> I, I don't like. I don't like durian, and you probably, you guys probably do. You liver supremacist. Liver for a win. Plus, liver's also good for you. You don't need to worry about smelling it, and you can make all sorts of liver food. is no You can put it. Good. You can make a pate out of it. You can, there's also monkfish liver, which is supposed to be really good in Japan. Kata, by the way, you'll probably like, want to try. It. I don't like any liver. It's it's the texture and the taste that gets me. And I know, after everything I just said about durian, I don't like the mushy texture of liver, and I don't the mushy, powdery, yucky texture, and liver. It just tastes bad. I don't. I don't like it. I can't stand it. It's not. It's not yummy at all. I'm, I'm just saying. Okay, and it, I think it's the same split argument with our family as well with durian because Tida only likes right. durian if it's cold. I don't know if Squish likes durian. I don't think he does. I don't know if Pet likes durian or not. I still I I don't really think she does either. I I'm not sure though, but I feel like it's still split. Just like liver. Okay, they're both split in two sides. I'm the better side. Obviously, you yeah, say what you want, man. You liver lover. Liver lover is better than durian dork, so I'll take that. <laughs> Saying I just made a better nickname. That's all. That's. I just have better liver alliteration lover. skills. Yeah, liter li <laughs> liver lover. Oh yeah. I'll start. Go ahead. I was gonna go back. I was gonna say something about the geckos. It kind of reminded me 
of the uh, flushed away scene where it's like freezing all the rats in the fridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, we basically do that on a daily basis. Well, not on a daily basis. Fault. They somehow just get in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know when. I think there's like a hole in the back of our fridge. Just to make That's it clear, we're not doing this on. We don't do this on purpose. Obviously, they wander in somehow, or like they go in when we're open it. We open the fridge and we're looking in the fridge, and they go and they sneak in without us knowing, and then we close the fridge and then they die because it's too cold. It's not our fault. <laughs> Have you ever tried gecko before? No, I don't think so. I don't even know if they cook it. No, Do it's they, probably uh, like one of like gra late grandma's things. No, before. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I'm pretty I don't think sure they, like I had a one of those like giant geckos. No, I mean we. No, no, we never had. There's no way. I never ate gecko. I think I would remember that. I know you guys had rat. And I ha I have it. I We've remember I didn't want to. We've had quite close to it. Before. I think I never really went What's out it? and ate that stuff. I don't know why I didn't. I think I was just young. Kind of like, hey, I want to eat that. Why, why would I eat that? You know. I think the only thing I've eaten like out of normal food is turtle. Yeah, I think that's it. Cause you guys had like ostrich, you guys had crocodile, and and I don't know. Deer. Ostrich, crocodile, rat, turtle. Yeah, I think I only had turtle. Deer is all, yeah. I I think I only had turtle and deer. Maybe I don't even know about the deer. Internet's not doing so well, is it? Yeah, nah. It up. I mean, you still look fine on my screen, I guess. So just keep going. Just keep going. So yeah, I haven't really had anything other than turtle out of normal meats. You sure? Yeah, you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. You heard what I said, right? <laughs> yeah, you said that. What, what did you say? So, yeah, turtle, ostrich. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard that. Turtle, ostrich, crocodile, rat, um, deer. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Kangaroo as well. That's one. Kangaroo? What? When? <laughs> when? With the ostrich. I did not remember you guys eating kangaroo. That waterfall was weird. I don't know what that restaurant was doing. Yeah. Kangaroo? Isn't that basically rat? I've had rat, so it's fine. Yeah, it just tastes like kangaroo, I guess. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Hmm. So, what did they like taste like? Chicken. <laughs> Everything tasted like chicken. I mean, okay, for one, the ostrich is a leaner chicken. Deer, I don't remember. A uh, crocodile, I don't really remember either. Kangaroo, I remember it was mint. So, it's kind of like pork hmm. kind of like the same thing just think of like a mammal mammals just taste the same apparently <laughs> yeah so if we just minced up human meat and then served it we want to tell we couldn't tell the difference i'm pretty sure we wouldn't be able to tell because we never had it no, unless she does <laughs> no <laughs> say <laughs> Why would you even ask me now? I haven't even tried rat tur- I uh, know, I haven't even tried the, the other things you guys have tried. I only tried turtle. <laughs> what makes you think I would try human, huh? Plus, I wouldn't, ever. Oh, you brought it up. Don't, don't get all defense, <laughs> defense, uh, defensive on me. 
Hey, we're gonna drop the table, yeah. okay? It's just wrong. Oh, yeah? What if, like, one of those, like, worst-case scenarios when you're, like, lost in the desert and then you have to, um, cut off your leg I'd rather eat sand, eating okay. something? Yeah, sand. I'll eat the freaking sand. That's, you're going to it's die. It's all cooked, right? The sand is cooked from the heat of the desert sun, so I eat sand. What? Eat all the... Why would you eat sand, though? Well, because of the, the Apparently, minerals. Apparently, I heard cactus is actually bad for you. I don't know, I never had cactus. Apparently it gets you even more dehydrated. And Isn't also drinking snow? peas is not a good idea either. Well, yeah, it's literally your waste. So I'm just li so I'm just hearing all this and then being like, Bear Grylls is a lie. I don't think it so. Was. I think... I think the drinking the tea part, maybe it was just trying to keep him like, I Remember? I think it's trying to keep him, I don't know, somewhat hydrated, but not really. I mean, him, I don't know. I don't know. Didn't he keep just it like... Interesting because it's a, it's a documentary. Didn't he just like swish, swish the pee in his mouth? Like he didn't actually swallow it. He just kept it in his mouth to keep it like... Cold? No, he drank his piss, Kada. Oh well. He That's... drank it. And I'm pretty sure I remember us doing it as well, like after what? <laughs> I don't think we drink our own piss, saying. But I, you cannot tell me that you've never tasted your own piss before. I haven't. I never have. <laughs> What you have? Okay, you... Just me. Yeah, I have. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm going out to say it. I think you're you're full of yourself, and you're lying. I'm not lying, saying I haven't drank my own piss. I haven't tried tasting it. I didn't even think. No, about I mean it. tasting. I, I never a kid. No, I even as a kid, I would never try to taste my own piss. You're weird. <laughs> you, you, it's you, it all the time, you're, yeah. you're calling me the weird one, saying I'm the one not yeah. drinking my own piss. I think that's that's I think I'm that's you, pretty I think good. For most kids, they're pretty curious, Kada. Well, not me. I'm I'm obviously and smarter than you most kids. Didn't step over your boundaries. Yeah, I obviously didn't. If all I ever tried was turtle, out of normal meat, so yeah, probably. You are never curious as to like what your no! piss tastes like. Why would I taste my own piss? That's disgusting. I never did. It is, but you're yeah. never. Yeah, uh, I never did. I just... Weirdo. Really... <laughs> weirdo. The person you who passed the face of like being an innocent kid and just like trying out new things. That's it. You're done. You can never try it. Uh, you do it now, and it's over. <laughs> No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> what? So what? Do you like think about tasting your own semen or something? No, it's gross. Why would you? No, I'm, that's stupid because I'm an adult now. I'm I, never gonna do it. I guess I was just a smart kid and you're a stupid kid. You're a smart kid. <laughs> yeah, obviously I didn't try to taste my own piss. You can talk to me after you get your GED scores, okay? Oh <laughs> talk God. to me after. That's not even. Listen, say that's not even my fault, okay? It's not even. No, I'm saying once you once you do it, we'll see. Until then, you cannot say you're a smart kid, and I'm not. I am okay? a smart. I am smart, man. I am pretty. Okay, you know what we should do? We should do a freaking, I don't know, quiz test. Or I don't know, IQ. What? What's your IQ test? And okay, see. that's fine. Yeah, I'll do that. Or should it be like general knowledge? Or should it be? How does? How I don't does know it why IQ test. It's not like how much knowledge you know. Your no, head. maybe that's like fine. how do you take a smart test? <laughs> it's an IQ test. 
Okay, See, fine. even yeah. dumb kid knows. Okay, just for record, I think I'm pretty stupid. So if he loses to me, <laughs> then it's gonna be really bad for him. Except, <laughs> then what? Why? Why did you bring up the school thing? Because that does that doesn't determine your IQ. Well, I mean, in general, you can like judge people based off the quiz. The quiz. We're taking a quiz now to see like who's better. So. GD I'm just saying, I'm pretty. Long. I'm a pretty smart kid for not tr trying to taste my own piss. <laughs> well, now you'll never know what it tastes like. That's it. Oh my Stop god! It. Why would I want to know? It's probably like, just. It's also disgusting. Salty. It's also disgusting to taste your own blood, Kata. How's yeah, that? Yeah, it's salty. That's it. Tasting my own blood. I taste my your blood, blood is all also the time. Disgusting as well. Like what yeah. if I just like cut my disgusting as well? Because I cut my lip open before. Of course, I tasted my own blood. Just you never licked the wound. No. I don't. I don't lick wounds. I wash them off. Saying why would I lick? I'm not an animal. Just like if I get a cut on my hand, I start licking my freaking wound. Uh, whatever, Katara, you just missed out on all the things kids could do. <laughs> I think i have you're just primitive and I am just more, um, advanced. <laughs> primitive, tell that to Bear Grylls. Did you say he's stupid for drinking piss? Go ahead. Oh, he's a professional, so he knew what he's doing. You, you didn't know what you were doing. You would... He drank piss. I tasted. I didn't take a cup and drink it. Oh, well, he was dying, sir. Were oh, you dying? He was not dying. He had a camera crew. I, I'm telling you, it was real. Say he's just showing what what you do in that um desperate situation. Did you see the curb your video kind of thing where he's no. like showing a bunch of rocks? These rocks are so dangerous. Oh, there's a giant crack in. He might fall in. You don't know when the rocks will give and it shows and then there's another video of someone else showing that's right next to the highway oh well man <laughs> anyways it's whatever Staged. that was yeah, some so aspects are probably real like the survival skills so maybe he like didn't that. even drink his own piss then huh? 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 maybe he didn't even drink his own piss so yeah. like yeah if it's all staged and fake, then he didn't drink his piss, but you did. What, he drank someone else's? <laughs> I don't know, he drank water. Maybe if it's all staged, it's no, just No, I'm pretty it. sure he did. No, he did. No, he did. But it's all staged, and you never know. Could have been apple juice. No, he drank it, Kadal. You can see the censoring. You can see his sensor dick inside being. How? You can fake that. I don't know how. You can fake it. From his dick. Yeah. I'm serious. You could probably fake he it. He put I... it in the snake skin and drank it. Yeah. Is the snake a paid actor? And it's in hell. God. You know, you could just pour apple juice in there, or he could be pretend peeing. Killing the snake, ripping the skin off, peeing inside, tying it up, holding it around, walking, and then getting exhausted. Yeah. I'm saying the pee incident is real because they needed shock value for documentaries, because documentaries are boring for most people. Hmm. Well, anyways, just... You drank your piss, and I did it. <laughs> it's all it comes down to. And you're frozen. And he's he 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 is gone. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Uh, what is going on? Oh, oh you're back finally. Oh, oh, 
Anyways, I think I'm probably in the majority here for not trying to taste my own piss. Unless everyone is just s stupid. <laughs> Hello? Lies. Cap. That's Cap. It yeah. is Cap. I'm not even lying. It is so. Cap. I, I am have still been... in disbelief. I <laughs> This is gonna go yes. on forever. I haven't drank or tried to taste my own piss. I have no shame in telling you I've tasted before. I have no shame either. It's no just I would I would say it, it if I actually did it. In which I did not. I have nothing to hide, man. Nothing. No, you're saying because you did it and you're hiding it. That's I why. did it. I would <laughs> say, say, if I did it, I would say, it, okay. Why would I hide this? There's, n I don't. Why? You, you think that's disgusting? We've, we've used the toilet as a bathtub. Well, yeah. I, I see, see, I know I did that. I, I'm admitting it. I'm admitting it. But it's not like. You're saying <laughs> what I did was disgusting, and then you're. Com you're. You're ever critical about it. <laughs> it. It was, but you were trying to taste your piss. I was going bathing in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, bathing other people. That's fine. And, okay, well, we didn't sure. bathe in piss either. The toilet, we flushed it before. <laughs> <laughs> Before we got in, we turned out just fine, guys. We turned out just fine. We're fine. We're, we, fine. we're, we're good kids. <laughs> we're taught everything we need to know about bathing. Yes, uh, the toilet is a perfectly good place to bathe for free people. <laughs> We're tiny kids as well. <laughs> yeah, so we bathed in the toilet. Well, who cares? Yeah, so I taste my own piss. Who cares? I'm telling you, it's a majority. No. We can go back to this later because I think we're going too much on this already. <laughs> this is just going to be the piss podcast. Uh. I'm dry my lips. Yeah. Well, that's so you know, it's just salty. That's it. That's nothing wrong. Yeah, I'd imagine. It's okay. just like, it's just like a uh, yellow sweat. Think of it like that. Hmm. Because that's technically what it is as well. Sweat is the piss from your body. Yeah, but sweat is a lot less smelly, I guess. A lot less smelly, guitar. You try working out and smelling yourself. I have, it's like, is it really smellier than piss? <laughs> Depends how much water you've drank. No, you had like, yeah. normal amount of water and your pee is clear and then you're still smelling, you're gonna be stinky after the workout. Yeah, pee is just smellier than sweat, I'm just saying. It, it is. Fine, whatever. You sweat more <laughs> though. I think. Yeah, obviously. Look how hot it is. I was gonna freaking do this podcast without wearing a shirt because it's so goddamn freaking hot. I know I said this you, before you, many times. Thailand is just hot as shit. Look at this fan right next to me. Right next to me. I'm still sweating. Ooh. Yeah, if you really wanted to, you could pay... So much for electricity. <laughs> nah. Uh, my bills got up so high. It's insane. They're saying. Yeah, whatever. I mean, if I can live in 20, 27 degrees Celsius, then I am <laughs> winning. 27. That's a luxury thing. Freaking luxury. Well, you're what, 35? Probably. Ooh. You did you ever look up any alternatives like how you just make your fans super cool or something? No. 
like freeze ice and then put it in front. No, I feel like that's too much work, and plus, I think that would just melt the ice, and the ice would get everywhere. In which I don't want that to happen. Well, you seem very desperate. <laughs> Not that desperate. I kind of used it, but it's just annoying. It's just annoying to just be sitting around, and your armpits are constantly sweating. And if you put on a shirt, you are guaranteed to sweat even more. And I'm always sticky. I have to take. Okay, I've gone into this already. I've. <laughs> it's it's just hot. It's annoying. Man. I don't like it. See, this is why. Okay, I'm gonna make a statement right here. This is why Thailand sucks at football, because because it's so goddamn hard. Because the other countries, the other the other countries, Europe, uh, America, I guess. No, they're not good. Never mind. Uh, Europe, freaking what? Ah, uh, so okay, South Korea, country. Uh, South Korea, Japan. They're all they're good, you know why? Because they can play in cold weather. They don't have to worry about this humid ass heat, so they can that so they can get to play more. I feel I disagree with you. I feel so like the not. climate is a major freaking factor. Okay, I feel like a lot of people around Thailand in Thailand would be playing a lot more football and going outside more if the weather was wasn't just so extreme. I'm going to disagree with you a little bit. Yes, I've heard like with heat, it's a lot harder to concentrate. Concentrate like, uh, um, like I saw this percentage of countries that are near the equator, they have a hard time concentrating, and that results in like our work and stuff like that. But what about countries like Mexico or Brazil? Those are good. Uh, and Argentina, okay. those good countries. They're hot, well. right? They're hot, but are they humid? Yeah. I don't know. Actually, yeah, Brazil rainforest. That's the rainforest. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that chance. Humid. Sweat. <laughs> Say any freaking jungle I'm sure is Brazil's humid. humid because it's near the equator. I have. Wait, 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 wait. I have a map here so I can see if it's like past the equator. I mean, the top of Brazil is near Thailand, it's Phuket. So, this line's the equator, right? Hmm. I don't know, it doesn't say. Never mind. Ignore <laughs> me for now, what are you gonna say? Anyways, it's so freaking humid. It basically, it's humid. It's hot. It basically, the saying I can hear the I can hear the headphones. Get away. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just looking. Keep going. Anyways, oh, it basically it deters people from going out and playing more football. Like maybe it's lunchtime during school or something, and then people go out. To have lunch, and also it's break time, so they can play football, in which they don't because it's freaking hot as shit. It's just too hot. We're just not playing that much. Yeah, and maybe, and maybe if you say, maybe oh, Africa is hot, right? Maybe it might yes. be hotter, right? Yeah, Africa is hot. They have a lot of good yes. players, but I think they have a lot of good players because they're poor. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> because the <laughs> <What>? <laughs> because okay, listen, listen. The people in like Brazil and uh, Africa and yeah, all yeah. and these and these and these uh kind of lower grade countries, it's kind of like football is like their life because they kind of have nothing else to do. You know. Okay. So yeah, that's I think that's why they. No, no, I get I get that. So yeah, but I don't think <laughs> you should blame the fact. I'm blaming that, like, the heat. Else based off the heat, that our country sucks at football. Yes. You can't because we just suck at football. 
just listen say look at look at japan look at south korea okay those are countries both they're not hot they're like normal just they're normal and it gets cold and stuff like that and they're just better at football and because look i mean look at all the other southeast asian countries i know i make it i'm <laughs> I know this is a shit take, but I'm just saying, yeah, I think the heat contributes to how good we are. Maybe. Actually, no, I stand by my take. Checking, what? checking. I'm checking my map. <laughs> so this must be the equator, huh? Oh. Aha! Honduras, there we go. And Costa Rica, Costa Rica's good. There you go. No, they're not. <laughs> Better than us. No, but I think even if we had the cold, we had resources, we got two feet tall, we'll probably never reach the World Cup in the next 20 years. I think we would. No. Yes. Where is that bad? Think of like all the players that are in the team right now. They've probably like gone and learned abroad already. They probably like went to Korea. They went to America to learn. They went to like a Japan for like the soccer colleges there, right? Like thinking of you, you wanted to go to a soccer college in Japan as well. They probably learned there and then came back, but they couldn't perform. Maybe it's also because of the heat, but they did learn from their experience in the other countries, but still they couldn't be a good team. I, I mean, that's beg wrong for to differ. <laughs> what? I, uh, okay, wait. At the very least, we cannot learn on I think our own. We cannot. If you had the resources, if you had the proper training and stuff, and the proper climate, because <laughs> because there's this uh, documentary with basically they took a team, uh, an Indonesian team, and they took them and trained them in England, and yeah, basically they trained them in England and put pit them, put them up against England teams, so they're being coached by England coaches and stuff like that so they had the resources they had the right training and stuff and the indonesian team beat a lot of the english teams that were playing against them okay so maybe it is because of the resources and the climate and all those factors no i mean that's for their country indonesia but for thailand we wouldn't perform as well we I lose. think it would be the same thing. If you took a Thai team and you, um, I don't know, ship them. Why did I say ship? Fly them over to England. You train them with English coaches, coaches with the right facilities, the right training. They could probably also do the same thing. And they be will a still lot of lose. No. That's how bad we are. No, it's no millions not. of dollars can put in. We can sponsor other teams, but we can't have our own teams in the Premier. We can't. Or actually, no, that, not Premier, sorry. Just like other big leagues. Right? No, not the Premier League. It was just kind of like they beat like other English academies. And also, they like went up against Juventus. Or, I mean, they lost against Juventus, but like still, they put up a good fight. It's not like they lost terribly. I don't like disagree with you completely. I'm just saying we're so bad that like, no no my, no huh? amount of help will help us. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> wow, way to believe in your country, Zach. Very patriotic. I believe my I believe in my country in other aspects, just not football because we've never passed the World Cup qualifier. And I'm pretty sure we've had in our Thai team we've had like half like Will Kung's in our team as well. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah, it's just the training and the facilities, I guess. And also the human heat. <laughs> I mean, if they knew that, they would, wouldn't would they move somewhere else to train? No, it's too much work. I mean, for the World Cup, I don't think it's too much work. I mean, it is too much work. 
because that would be like, stripping all the players from their families who live in Thailand. So that, that the players are to like complain. Average international players, Qatar, they never they never really see their families either. Yeah, they do. What about like during matches? It's not like that. They had to go travel somewhere else. Like they usually, the Euros, they usually just move like next to where uh they play. What do you mean? Like, or wait, they they just like move to where next to where they train. You don't have to stay at the freaking facility. It's kind of like work. You move close to where you work and then they bring their family with them. Exactly. Why can't Thai people do that? Because it's harder. Because they're not going up. Like. <laughs> if we really wanted to. Because like, those are like. Say, okay. Those are like big ass players and big ass clubs already. But this is Thailand we're talking about. We. I mean. Do not have in the resources. In an imaginary scenario, we get all the resources. Shouldn't we move all our players somewhere else so they can be better with their families and whatever? No, no, I don't think that would happen. Imaginary scenario. Because the coaches are Thai, so we're still gonna yes. be. Yes. <laughs> I think it hey, has you, a lot you, you, just said, you said the Thai coaches are bad. So and I'm it, telling you, no amount of resources can help us get out of It our is. Place. It's just like the coaches need to be trained properly, just like the players had to be trained properly. Who was the coach in the Indonesian team? Oh, it was some English guy. I don't know. There, see? We had, we had to have outside help. We're not going to get it. Well, it has to be like huh? someone European. It's just Thailand, I don't know, they just need to be- Oh, frick! I dropped my extension cord. It's hanging? No, it's just, like, on the edge. It's just living on the edge. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, we're not gonna get anywhere because we're tired. <laughs> well, it's just we need the proper uh, guidance. Yeah, from English. Doesn't have to be English, just someone not Thai. Someone European. Someone with European influence, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you can say the same thing about here. You're, you're better off like knowing about European uh, culture instead of Thai. You get better jobs here. Yeah. Oh, but I'm not gonna get into that too much because I don't know much about it. Mm. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> it was fine. I remember looking at uh, FIFA. I I looked at I installed FIFA for a bit when I tried out EA's like subscription thing, and then uh. I tried searching for Thai players, and then we're like we're like in uh, B class, you know, the two guys, the two Thai guys, the most popular ones was like who was it? China Tip, and then the guy Tino Ton. The sponsor ads or something. Uh, that's what? Okay. I don't know. Who's Tina Tong? It's the, some other Thai defender, kind of. Was it the guy I met while I was working at Moza and then Tina got all excited? I, I don't think so. I remember I saw one of the popular soccer players. <laughs> but, eh? Normal. He was really respectful though. So good I'm raised well. Did he give you a tip? Nope. Or then he sucks. <laughs> oh I I don't remember. I was I wasn't I wasn't waiting that table. Mm hmm. Alright, that's fine. We don't just no, apparently in other countries you're supposed you're supposed to be tipping people. Because that's how they get their living wages as well. 
What? Yeah, it's kind of like really bad for waiters and stuff. I mean, they get paid well, right? But yeah. it's not enough. So they get way more than like the minimum wage here now. But basically, it's just not enough for living wages because like big cities like London and uh, just name any capital is like really expensive. So tips are what they use to like get by. Ah. Uh. So I heard that you can't even tip in Japan. Why not? I don't know. It's just they don't do it. And it's like, I don't know, disrespectful, I guess. What if you did? And you're not supposed to. It's kind of like a thing you don't do. Well, that's fine with me. If you it's kind of like the money. service. They like serve you. They, uh, if you have it to give them a tip. I don't know. Some kind of Japanese respect thingy. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Japan he's... here, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Japan. I'm not Mr. Japan. I just like it. It doesn't mean I know everything about it, but I heard that you can't really tip. I don't think you're supposed to either. How are you supposed to tip the maids then in the cafes? Dad. You don't. <laughs> but I you just... wanted to. No, why would I? Say, like, listen, I would only go to the maid ca cafe for the experience, okay? Go once, probably never again. Unless I like it, but nah, I don't, you would go I don't, again. You I don't would think. Go again. Why would you think I would go again? Hentai, that's why. Saying <laughs> oh, no. your hentai? Hentai, hentai taste, <laughs> hentai taste, and real life stuff, they do not correlate. Okay, they do no, not. No, I'm just saying, pervert, Kata. What? What? Hentai is pervert. Right? So why, why do you think I'm a pervert? So I go because I'm a pervert. Well, you wanted to go to the maid cafe. Well, yeah, for the experience. Uh, I, oh, I want to go to the strip, strip club for experience. <laughs> I, that's, <laughs> I guess. There, see? It's the same, same thing. Yeah, but it's like, would you go again? Probably not. Probably. Why? <laughs> Why not? I don't know, boring. It's kind of like you want to experience some new, new yeah, a bunch of girls unique off their thing. Clothes, it's not boring. It is boring. Just go online. There's plenty of them. <laughs> But it's not real. So, <laughs> so you, I don't you just get you're right. Fine, sure you go I for one experience. Reality. Fine, you go. You if you like the experience, then you go again. If it's okay, so if I I think going to make a face it's a unique and new experience, I go. If I like the experience, then I'm probably gonna go again. But I just don't think I would like like just go out of would my you, way to you? go there. Who would you take? I have no idea. We're well, not gonna go alone. I don't know. I'll take Squishy with me. You take Squishy with me. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You I would take know. me. You would take I'll just, me. I'll just go alone. Go all alone. No, that's just that's just sad. Don't no. you know? Just going to by yourself to a maid cafe. No. I don't know, I'll find someone to go with me. I don't think you want to go. You can rent a girlfriend or something. Oh, thank you. Well, go? I go there with my girlfriend. My rent a girlfriend. Well, because you don't have one right now, so... Can you even rent a girlfriend in Thailand? No, I'm, I'm talking about May cafes. In Japan, There's you said still you, maid you're, you cafes said yourself, in Thailand. You oh, want yeah, to go in to Japan. one? You want to go to one in Japan, yes, not of in course. Thailand. Of course, I would. But would you even go to Japan with me? I don't know. You want to go to England and I said I want to go to Japan. Eye. 
I said I wanted to go to okay, Japan. Okay, I feel like once I have the resources to go to Japan, I would probably have people I could go with. That is not you. That's not true. Look at me. I worked two years. No one wants no one likes me. <laughs> yeah, you you play Counter Strike with that one guy. I don't freaking know. Plus, not <laughs> many people. Not many people. Well, that's you, not to me. I'm different. No, you're popular, huh? Right. No, I just I'm different, man. It, it doesn't mean if it if it's not the same for you, it's gonna be the same for me. Yeah, I'm with you. First, get a job. I have a job. Get a job where it'll get you friends. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> it's hard. I don't even get any friends here right now. Especially, how are you supposed to meet people? Oh, I'm yeah. freaking VR chat now. No, how are you supposed I'm to? Not, I'm. I was never used to that. Like even like going online for so long, I mm. never had like an online pen pal or something. I do. You should just go on Omegle and chill a bit. I don't think that's. I think you just I don't know play a game, find a Discord server, join it. Join some random. I mean, you have to go out of your way. <laughs> like, say you want to play, I don't know, Counter Strike with somebody. You go on the Counter Strike Discord server. You join some random uh, voice chat that's maybe looking for players. You just join and say, "Hey, you guys need a player," and they're like, "Oh, yeah, sure." And if they but don't, Discord, they just... Discord is a bunch of weirdos. Well, of course it does. So no. I'm but, but not everyone is a weirdo saying. Well, of course, it's up. But the outside world is so scary, you might want to uh, not extend your boundaries. Anyways, saying you just have to go out of your way to say, hey, you guys need a player, or hey, you guys want, or like, hey, can I join you guys, or something like that. Or, I don't know. That's probably how you do it in real life. Uh. This is sad to talk about, you know. <laughs> Why? <laughs> talk about how to make friends. Well, you have friends, you just can't see them. Yeah, see? And they see each other bad. nonetheless. Well, because they're stupid idiots that want to die of COVID. And this is this is how he treats his friends. <laughs> yes, see, this is the. <laughs> so come on, you treat. No one treats their friends with respect. We all shit on each other. <laughs> okay, uh, you treat them with a certain amount of respect, but you shit on them. <laughs> no, I think that's what you do with friends. friends you actually. You don't just freaking be all like nice like oh, how are you? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. And that's uh, you start talking about happy times, you don't shit on each other, you don't argue and you just I don't know, have no confrontation. Or you don't have banter. So you don't beat up your friends? No, I don't beat up my friends though, so I don't Not even play fight? That's why I beat you up, Kata. What why would I play that? fight with Zeg? Like, Okay, I'm an adult now, too, you know? Who play fights when they're... <laughs> I'm telling you, when I get home, I'm gonna beat your ass up. See, that's not a friend. Friends don't beat each other up. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> not normally. They don't walk up to their friend and just punch them in the face. I don't punch you in the face. Don't, don't, don't misconstrue what I'm doing. I said, be your ass okay, up. Okay, I guess face I up. have maybe play fought, but not really. It's kind of just I pretend to kick their leg. Like when we're playing football. Did you know? Pretend to kick their leg? Wow, the tire, man. <laughs> what is that? I don't, I don't kick their leg, though. No. It's just like I pretend to. So you pretend to kick. <laughs> or I just say so like if, not... if, or I just say if you get close to me, I'm gonna kick you. 
Just banter. Just forget it. It's saying it's shit talk. It's it's what friends do. If you don't if you don't put hands on your friends, you are not their friends. I don't throw hands. I just be like, <laughs> if you come close to me, I'm gonna kick you. It's just banter. It's just so you never like kick them. Like I kick you in football. You gotta go. I kick you. <laughs> I don't actually kick them, I pretend to kick them. Like, what? I'll show you. Wait till I get home. <laughs> All my siblings are getting beaten up. All of them. What? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's not. Okay, Sang isn't a good example of a big brother. Big brothers what? are not supposed to beat I'm up their, their little siblings. The best example. I randomly do stuff for no the reason the best example of a big brother by beating up your little siblings that yes yeah. <laughs> you know siblings beat each what? other up all the what? time yeah but it's not a good example remember like you see a video where like the well i am the bigger brother that's what big brothers do they beat up the smaller ones <laughs> okay so yeah uh... yeah it doesn't hey, okay fine you're good uh face for big brothers cliche ones but does what do you that, not look up to me that does not make it's like beating up your little siblings does not make you a good big brother do you not look up to me do i not good give you good advice i don't know maybe sometimes to be honest <laughs> no 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 listen saying what you're saying is that because you beat up beat us up that that makes you a good big brother it's not that okay no I'm that's just that's like what big brothers do that's just like a normal thing big brothers do yeah but that's I'm not what you makes you, you a good big brother well you don't know you're not my big brother you never know i'm the oldest i am the big brother here no, you may not. you might be the oldest, but I am the biggest. Literally, you're not, you're not gonna be the biggest soon as well. I'm 58. You're 59. I, so. I okay, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna gain. Well, I'm gonna freaking start not being considerate of them. I'm gonna eat their portions. Forget. <laughs> nah, I'll eat their know. portions hey, of food. You know I'll they gain like weight. Me more than you. Who who said that? Huh? Who um, said that? We. David. There you go. <laughs> And Alex. <laughs> Whatever. Say everyone, any, anyone who's at home would like the the nice person who comes visit time sometime and like who buys them stuff because that's what they do. Yeah, I buy them stuff all the time. But if they were with it's you, say if they were too. with if they lived with you, they would probably think, oh, Katala's probably the nice guy because he comes over and visits and buys no, them stuff. Probably, I will. I would actually take care of them. Instead of I don't know. We'll being annoyed that they're in my room, huh? You get that? Huh? You're no. gonna get annoyed that they're gonna be, that they're living in your nope, room. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Was sorry. I annoyed? Was I annoyed when you went in, when you came to my place? No. I will probably. No, I said <laughs> you could live here. <laughs> I gave you space. I got this room big because I knew you were. No, well, that was a long term. That was a long term. Okay, that was that was a short term. Yeah, for a few months. That's still a lot. I wasn't with you for a few months. I was with, I was with you for like no. a, a week. The original plan was we you would like get a job or something and then stay for a few months until you get your own place. Yeah. Yeah, that was a plan. I was willing to let you stay for a few months. But you don't know if you would be annoyed by any by me. Well, we wouldn't know <laughs> because not. you already left. <laughs> exactly. So we'll see when one of uh, one sibling goes with you, and we'll see if you get annoyed after three months. Nope. Nope. I'm the good big brother. Okay. I never get annoyed about my siblings' living spaces. At least I let them sleep in my room. Saying, listen, man, I need my happy time, okay? <laughs> you yes. can do it, like, right no. next to them and they wouldn't know. It's... That's that's gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just control yourself! I you know people are going... Or, 
The bathroom. Hello. There's the other rooms. Why, why are you gonna go come on all the frogs? What the? F the toilet. <laughs> you can pee in the toilet. You know. I need to be uh, looking at my phone. I need to be comfortable. <laughs> the bathroom isn't exactly comfortable. It's wet. <laughs> And soapy. <laughs> no. I'm just saying it's more comfortable. It's so vanilla. What? <laughs> Say, it's more comfortable to be on my bed, okay? Reading or watching whatever I'm. And then doing my thing because that's just more comfortable. Pretty sure, unless you prefer the bathroom. I bet you never them. tried masturbating with your left hand. No. Why would I do that? Why would I l masturbate with my left right, hand? That's, that's, that's not. You know, that's all you know. That's that is, do. What? Yeah. It's not my dominant hand. Why would I use it? What? No, what? no reason. No, no, nothing. What do you mean, no reason? What? What? Spill it. Spill it. I'm just saying you might just get used to your dominant hand, and then nothing else could get you up. That's it. Saying I'm pretty sure it can. Okay. Well, you never tried. You never know. If I don't think it really matters what hand you use. It does because it's like the same like form. What? It's like the same thing. It's like going to the same vagina every time. So? But then it's your hand, so you're gonna get used to your hand. So it, what? It just gets boring. Yeah, you won't get... You're, you're new to other things, so you won't get it up. That's what I'm trying to say. So using your right hand only is bad. <laughs> See? Good advice, everybody. Such a good brother. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey! Ta da! What was that? What? What? Can't believe this. What? I can't believe this. That's so dumb. That's what? What? It's not dumb. You think I'm gonna get bored of my right hand? I'm not. What? I'm not doing hey, it. Hey man, for, I don't know. You're pretty boring. For the, the, the actual feel, I what I'm watching. That's probably what gets me off. Not my hand. I mean, it helps. Well, I mean, without your hand. What? I can manage. No, you couldn't. No. Yeah, I could. How? I can. I'm pretty sure I can masturbate without my hand. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Um. But you don't think of me as your bigger brother, Katal? Huh? You don't look up to me? I have a job. I'm working. I'm a free man. Independent. Yeah. Anything else? What? <laughs> so what, you expect me to look up to you because you have all those things? I mean, isn't it cool? I just think... That as long as you're happy doing it, if you're not happy doing it, then it's like worst the That's way. not the not the number that I'm trying to say to you, little flick. I'm just saying, saying, are you truly happy? Yeah. Truly happy with your job. Yeah. You can give me all the slack you want, like how bad it is, but I actually like my job. I like the people, and the people are gone from it. I'm gonna be gone. Hmm. 
simple. You just need, you know, your environment that is like, am I going to find these group of people in my workplace again? No, probably not. It's very free, open, and no control. There's no like policies that are like stupid. Maybe like some of them in the contract a bit, but uh, NDAs, so I stay quiet. Uh, hmm. But overall, I like what I'm doing. Could be better, but am I going to find better right now? No. And I'm not going to go back home. and go fishing for the rest of my life so yeah fishing what i want to go fishing <laughs> why i was thinking of this video idea where i get expensive fishing rod and you use like the stick fishing rod <laughs> yeah we'll see who gets more and then well yeah we'll see who gets more right <laughs> but i don't like fishing anymore I don't like killing the fish, man. Don't kill the fish, just release it. You can't if you go to that fish pond unless you fish in the river. Yeah. Plus the river is like all dried up. You have to go all go the way over Go to the middle, there. yeah. Go over there. It's fine. No, it's like really dried up now. Can't be that bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Was it like new town on riverbed kind of bad? Well, it's just... <laughs> drier than it's ever uh, it's drier than it's ever been before kind of like us but okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah anyway yeah but people still fish there so it's fine anyways you can still like kill the fish by hooking it and like hooking it into its brain and it still hurts the fish and i just don't like hurting the fish why did you become so pacifistic well i'm just just don't i just i'll eat the fish just as long as i'm not the one hurting if it you're not willing it. to kill the fish to eat it then you shouldn't be eating the fish no that's stupid so no that's not that if is if you're, if you can eat meat, you should be willing to be able to kill. I'm the not gonna be it. willing to say that's a different. That's a whole out. different story. Ow. Eating it and actually doing the killing is different. It's completely different. You don't imagine you're eating an animal. Yeah, if you I'll saw the it. animal before and then see you kill it and then chop it up, you're still gonna eat it. I don't know. Maybe like the it. fish actually. Actually, no. I would still eat it. I mean, fish, we see that all the time because that's all saying. That's like at know. the market, you just see that, and you just see it at the market, they bop fish dead. But that's also different because we don't see fish as the same as uh, like other animals. Mm. I'm like, just saying, I, I don't think I would kill a cow if I wanted. I'm to eat willing a cow. to kill the pig, the chicken, and the cow, and then eat it. Okay, if you're not willing to eat it, then you should have like no say. I think eating. that's stupid. I think you can still eat the stuff and not want to, like, actually have to do the killing. So you're saying you want to eat the stuff without actually having to kill it? That's what you're saying. Like, have, without having, have, without actually having to kill it yourself by your own hand. If you're not willing to kill the animal, you shouldn't be able to eat no i am able to eat the animals it's like it's it's uh, it's completely different you're eating yeah you're indirectly killing the animal Still. well yeah but at or least you're... i'm not the one i'm not the one doing the deed you feel me yeah like a tie realize you're still killing the animal well okay? yeah but at least i'm it's not by it's not by my hand okay if you I'm were not doing it stuck on an island would you kill the animal to survive there you go that's if i was stuck on an island with no choice this it but like i have choices and i choose I won't. I don't want to kill the animal with my own hand. I can let someone else do it, and I'll still eat it. But I, at least, it, as long as it's not me doing the actual killing, I think 
it's completely fine to still eat the animal and stuff. So you're saying it's fine for someone to kill the animal for you to eat it, right? Yeah, I I just say I don't think I would be comfortable killing the animal myself. Mm -hmm. Yes, say I'm pretty sure it's a whole friggin' different story. I got another question for you now. <laughs> what? So you're okay with like kids making iPhones so you can enjoy the iPhone? What? So let's say if the kid like sweatshops and a bunch of kid slaves are making your phones, would you still enjoy the phone? And you knew that? Saying that's a different story. You well, can say that it. about a lot of things, Dan. Saying, a yeah, ton of things. I'm just saying, I'm not comfortable eating. I mean, killing, actually doing a killing. At least, maybe the kids, the slave kids, were making iPhones. Yeah, but like, if I found that, <laughs> if I found that out, that's kids. That's things that are on my level those are other humans would you kill a human to eat another human no would you kill a human to save a human no i would i, I don't would. think i would to save you would... someone no. would you kill someone if they're gonna kill me Zach, like, that's a different story. Now you're bringing no, no, you no, into no, this. No, 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 no. Now you're bringing you. You're bringing personal matters into this. This is this. Now it's going you, biased. Now it's you, being okay, biased okay, because exclude, you're bringing. Exclude me out. Exclude me out. Would you kill someone to save someone else's life? No, I don't want to kill someone. Then the other person's life is on your hands. Either way, I'm gonna be killing someone. I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill them on with my by my own hand. Like press the button, you won't see it. Yeah, I won't see it. It's indirect. Yeah, you won't see it. You're already exactly. not seeing all the animals. I'd rather not by see eating it. them. I'd rather not directly kill but someone. I'd animal. rather passively kill someone. All right. So like, okay, let's bring back the personal matter then. Say because <laughs> you would you be passively killing? Say, but that is for a compelling reason because you matter to me, so that will give me a compelling reason to kill that person if it's gonna save you. What about the other random person then? It's a random person. If someone's dying, nonetheless, I want it to that per that person can die if it's not on my hands. I mean, it's I indirectly would... on my hands, but like, you have to, you will have to actively choose to kill somebody. Like, I mean, I'll actively go out and do the deed. Like, go out of your way to help someone? Can we even say kill? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's fine. No, like, if you're gonna go save somebody, and then with, like, the writ, like, you're not gonna go out of your way to save somebody if you think they're gonna get killed. Well, if someone's gonna die. Like, the guy is about to stab someone. You're not going to stop him. Now, okay. So now you're bringing another compelling reason. Now you're saying this guy is going to kill this person, and if you don't yeah. kill this guy, no, because if you're saying, That's if, what you're, I'm if saying. you were saying, okay, if you were saying, without any other uh, other motive, there's two people, innocent yes. people. Uh -huh. You have the choice to kill one. Wait, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, exactly. I was saying you, if no, see, because you bring in the uh, compelling reason. Because someone is actively going out of way to out of their way to trying to kill someone. So what if you don't kill that guy, then somebody dies. But if you're bringing two innocent people, you can save one. Or no, I agree you with kill. you on. I agree with you on the. Actually, no, I don't agree with you on the innocent one. I'll just kill myself. Oh my god! <laughs> but <laughs> what I was saying before, what I was saying before was someone going like going to kill someone would you stop that person with the risk of killing that guy that's well, what i was yeah, trying to say yeah because there's a compelling then we're in agreement because, no it. because there's a compelling reason if you bring two innocent people one is gonna die one is gonna die if you don't kill one. Oh, that well, new one then, new one, then, new then one, what new do one. you do <laughs> then what do you do what do you do exactly you you would you do the deed directly, killing an innocent person to save this other innocent guy? Or do you not do anything and let the other innocent guy die, but not by your hands? 
It's I, why are we getting all philosophical? We really can't answer these questions. Oh, you asked about it. I got another one. <laughs> what? It's the train one. Oh, great. So, I forgot how it goes, but you know, Thank like you. you're the one doing the switch. Would you let them, like, the train run over that guy or switch it and then change it to, like, a bunch of people? Actually, no, sorry. It's going I'm pretty straight sure into did. five people, and then if you switch it, it's going to kill one person. Hmm. I think I'll switch it. Yeah. It's a logical reason, but it's also probably not going to happen. I think I'm just going to be frozen. <laughs> there's, see, there's really no answer to these questions. There is an answer. Or you could be that kid. What? What, what kid? Oh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, Anyways, there's a lot of philosophical, philosophic, what, what, what's the oh, word? Philosophical, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> philosophical oh, questions that we can't answer. Saying there's a lot of questions that we just can't answer. Well, I'm just asking you now. What if the innocent people were your own family members? There you go. <laughs> what? So, okay, listen. <laughs> no, say. <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. It, I think we should squishy, that. squishy was being held hostage. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> and in order to save him, you had to kill me. Like, I'm not answering this question. I'm just well, you better not. because the two of us are about to die. Okay, I'll kill the one who's holding him hostage. Well, you can't because it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my sake! No, no, I'm not answering this. This is stupid. I'm not answering this. I'm not answering this. Oh, uh, I know your answer already. No, you don't. Yeah, you killed me. <laughs> for yeah. asking these questions. Anyways, how do we get to this? Um, I forgot. <laughs> That's a weird tangent. Oh yeah, we went from uh, chickens and fish. Well, how do we get to chickens? Fishing. Oh. Why'd you bring up fishing? Because I wanted to fish. Oh. Anyways, I just rather not hurt the fish. Well, we definitely know that now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, how long has it been? Uh, it's been Good enough. An hour and twenty-four minutes. Uh, what's up at home? No, nothing. I guess Tito's been gaining weight. <laughs> oh, she's saying she's fat now. Huh? She's like at, I think, she is almost as heavy as me. She's like 58, 57. What? She's almost as heavy as me. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right. Put my game up. I just need to eat more. I just need freaking eat more. And now we're back to me losing weight. Yes, look how skinny I am. See, I haven't been eating. No, no, no your why. shirt is just really wide, and it's just making <laughs> you look small. <laughs> no, no, I'm skinny. Look at this. Look at this. Oh well. I just eat more. You can't see it, but doom! Oh, oh. Put it in the light a bit. Oh, yes, very nice. It's like, I still got. I, 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 I be. I'll, I'll be you, in honest. I still got biceps, thing. I would be you, though. Well, because you trained. If I trained, I would be you. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. Is that. I'm challenging you. Come on. I'm not gonna train. I'm too, oh, see? I see? can't we, be. We, I, I can't be. Weak. bothered. 
I can't be bothered. <laughs> just yeah, because for you know, a stupid if I, if arm you, wrestling contest. Yeah, if you train and then we actually did it, I would actually win. Pretty sure I won last time. <laughs> nah. Uh, y'all. Yeah. And when was last time? What, two years ago? Yeah, I'm a lot bigger now. What's up? Gained three kilos. Oh. oh, nothing new. Not even like no nope. drama. Oh wait, <laughs> oh wait. What? So today when I went to seven with Tito, just so there's like basically no gas in the bike because Daddy is Dad has been using it to go to the shop a lot, and he hasn't filled up the gas. Mm -hmm. And when we checked. We checked the tank, so we opened up the tank, we brought a flashlight, looked inside, and there was basically no gas in there. And they were like, we asked daddy, daddy was like, oh it's fine, you'll make it to seven, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay, so like we, so yeah, then like we closed up the tank, and then we got on, and we were, we were just planning to go to the little shop because we knew it was not enough to go to seven. It was definitely not. So we wanted we wanted to go to the little shop and buy a little bottle of gas that they sell and then just use that and then go to seven. Uh, it was closed. No. So oh. <laughs> basically we drive out and the mi the moment we get on the ramp, you know the ramp that goes up to the road? Mm -hmm. The gas runs out. No well, it starts putting. You know, it starts doing a poop poop. As well, I've never, to, I've, yeah, yeah, I never experienced. The well, yeah, it started to do that. Okay, so we, so we're like, okay, just rush to the little, the little shop, basically, on the bike that's put it, put it, and then it kind of stops like halfway, like completely, no gas. So then Tito gets off to push, and I'm steering out because she wanted to push. Okay, I good was... for her, good for her, you weak ass little frick. <laughs> So she pushed, and then we got to the little shop. We bought a bottle of gas, and then we went to seven. But, more, but the thing is, okay, he said it would be enough gas to go to seven. To go to seven. Maybe and he he's, just didn't drive right. He's no. I got to the ramp. The ramp that goes up to the road. That's base. That's basically the entrance of our house. Basically, probably the it, battery. It was not the battery. <laughs> Don't <laughs> there was no gas. There's no freaking gas. All right, Todd, just say you spilt it and then we would be in agreement. <laughs> I didn't. There was no gas in there. I turned on the flash and when I checked, I didn't see a single droplet of gas. I don't even know how we made it up to the ramp and ha made it halfway to the little shop. But anyways, yeah. He just doesn't fill up the gas. That's and eventful. Yep. Very yeah. eventful. I mean, there is other drama, but it's kind of personal, so. Yeah. Anything else? Mm, no, not really. I guess uh, football. Um, I don't know. David and Alex like to cry. <laughs> What are competitive? That's normal. Yeah. <laughs> you just you think they're crying? Look at me. I was a baller. Not like a baller, but an actual. Not like a baller, like good at football, but like a baller. <laughs> pretty not sure like baller. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're all ballers. No, no, no. I, 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 I got mad. I got really mad because I wasn't good. <laughs> I'm better than you now, but I'm. I was <laughs> don't, don't even, don't push it. <laughs> well, you ain't no push. It. I'm better than you. So be, how, how, how? Will be you one be once. That's because I was falling around. <laughs> well, I was falling around too. I wasn't serious. <laughs> and that was four years ago as well. So. Uh, have you ever won trophies? Have you ever? Competed. Oh yeah, trophies, trophies that we buy. Yeah, yeah, no. It's like, I've won trophies that we bought, and I've won trophies that we haven't bought, okay? 
And I've won uh, beer. I've won something. lots of Pass. beer for my team. Have you ever done something past the Sunday League? Yeah, I have. It was um, almost semi-pro. It was when I was uh, training at the, the academy. And then basically there's this opportunity to play for this um, Miracle of Life League, which is some charity league. But it was kind of like a almost semi-pro kind of league for academies. So there's lots of uh, good academies, you know. Okay, another question. You do something that dad was never there for. Uh, yeah. And how many were those compared to how many he's been? A lot, actually. Most of that, most of the competitions I've done, he has it sponsored. It's just me going with my team, and he, he just goes to watch. Oh, good for you. Well, unless you've been to soccer college, I'm still better than you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, I tried out at least, and I didn't get in, of course, because yeah. You know why you didn't get in, Kada? Is there a reason why? Yeah, it's not because you're better than me. That's not. That's for sure. Well, what else? What was the reason why you couldn't join? I don't know. People just don't see my potential. I guess. No, 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 no. That's not why. <laughs> you know why? Why? Huh? Well, why? I don't know why. You weren't fit. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well, yeah. If you're gonna go try out for football, whatever, yeah, be fit, cause that that helps. <laughs> I mean, I was good for a good ten minutes, and then I died. <laughs> oh, I can almost survive a boxing match. Mm -hmm. Not against okay. me. Oh. Whatever, man. I still enjoy playing football. I still want to compete and stuff. And, and I'm still better than you. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm still better than you. No, I said saying still better than Kata there. <laughs> <laughs> no, say. No. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, yes. Yes, I, I can. Confidently say that I am better than you. Okay, from all my training, from all my from all my training, experience, my experience, <laughs> and my mentors, my team, um, Tida, <laughs> <laughs> I can say with confidence that I will always be better than you in football. No, if we no. want be one again, I'll still be you. No, <laughs> you won't. Yes, I will. It's called kneeling at the goal and then oh waiting my for my chance. <laughs> well, yeah, you're not going to get through, are you? No, so tough luck. Oh my god. <laughs> How are you going to get through? Well, while you're trying to get in, I kick it and then kick it back. I do the long distance. I don't need to dribble it in. Stupid. Just whatever, say. Whatever. Oh, we can talk about what? Oh, we totally missed. What? Like, we totally forgot about the Euros. That's like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that yeah. should be like Italy, the main topic. Italy, oh, yeah. Frick England, frick you. I'm joking, okay? Listen, I just like Italy, okay? I, I like their team. Okay, I, I like England as well, but I just like Italy more. Plus, I think... Overrated. Which I mean, overrated, they won. Overrated. No. You just cheered for an obviously good team, okay? Well, because I like them. I don't really care, like, what country I'm backing. I more, like, just like the good players. Right. You didn't even know who was who Chiesa was. Well, yeah, but I knew they were good. And I watched some of it. You didn't watch any. I mean, I knew Virati and Buffon and... What about Bonalucci? And uh, number three, the Gung... 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 Ah, like, and, okay, we had to talk about the goalies for a little bit because they're the best players 
probably Pick, Pickford was the best for England. Uh, obviously, Donnarumma did way better because he actually blocked the penalties. I mean, so did Pickford. Yeah, good. it was it was more like the penalty takers. No, there's only Rashford. That's it. Rashford, Rashford Sancho, his... Saka, they no, all. I, I told you about the the other two. Besides Rashford, at least they scored it in the frame. Well, yeah, but like it's still considered as a miss. It is a miss. But like, but I, you give them some slack. They got it inside the goal. Okay. It, I mean, he, he almost there, got it, it go inside in. the goal. If Rashford shot without the goalie there, it wouldn't go in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he was thinking at that time, so I was stupid. Anyways, I liked Italy. They won, so. I don't like Italy there. because they beat Belgium, that's why. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll see in the World Cup. I'm I'm still cheering for Belgium. They have a chance there. I don't really care. I just want to, I just want to see good matches. If if I see them, I I don't know. No, I mean, who do you want to win? <laughs> I have no idea. I want like follow the players around. Just like oh, I like follow player. the players then. Whose players do you like? Well, like I like this player, but I also like this player, and I also like, like this you player. Like, you have a favorite. Not, not really. <laughs> it's like I'm a weird guy, okay? <laughs> well, I just like, okay, I like this player, and I like this player, so I cheer for, maybe I cheer for them, man, but I also like to have a player for another team, so I'll cheer for them too. Well, I just want to see some good matches, okay? Just want to see some good From matches. From whose team? I don't know, for both sides, if they have players that I know and I like. Ooh, you're no fun to compete against. <laughs> what? It was fun when I said Belgium was going to be Brazil. You're cheering for Brazil. When I was back then, now I'm different. I just follow the players. Belgium's going to win. I ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just followed the players around. Unless it was my team, Mankam, I'll be like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. Cheer for them. Oh, you know, I will sing the anthem for you, too. <laughs> Apparently, they went uh, They went and played uh, a practice match. I, I wasn't free that day. Mm -hmm. And they went and played a, a practice match against like one of the high schools at Lopri. One of the top high schools. Pretty sure you know of it. The one when dad went to? Yeah. Oh, and also, yeah. our Thai prime minister right now has gone to there as well. He learned there or he just. He, went there yeah, he studied there. No, he studied there. Oh. I mean, that's just like one of the biggest schools in Thailand in general, I think. Yeah. Anyways, they went and they competed. Uh, no, not competed. They had a little practice match against the high school team. Okay. That their team, and they lost miserably. <laughs> um, it is a given. <laughs> is it? Is it? My okay. I guess yes. it, it kind of is because that day it was like they brought a lot. I um, mean, my team brought a lot of their younger players. Even though yes, the other team is young, but they have training and all that. But all these younger players, they kind of they get nervous and stuff, and they don't really know how to play that well i guess and then there was a few adults and uh, i wasn't there and uh some other players weren't there as well so they, and they lost 8-0 to the high school team well that's proof of resources and experiences so yeah yeah i mean that's like comparing yeah it's like government school versus private school okay it's just not gonna work yeah but just, i'm just saying like some of us some of them are adults adults and like you know i think if you just played properly you could probably stand a chance against this team 
you know? Not you. Because you oh, well, yeah, I didn't go. If I Paul, if I went, we probably would have won eight zero. And if I went to watch, you probably wouldn't win as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> you are just bad luck when it comes to maybe football. you're just trying to make me proud Gada. you're like trying to no. impress me and then you just get yourself over hyped and then you get you get worked up and then you also get nervous because I'm there watching like judging Grizzly. no say <laughs> no that, that that's just pure coincidence or you're just bad no luck. it's not pure co- coincidence because I remember I left and you won yeah, it's really a coincidence. Or you're just bad omen. You're bad no, you're luck. Just, you just suck when I'm there. <laughs> I don't suck. It's the rest of my team that's... I'm joking. His friends, everybody. His friends. Yes. <laughs> They're my friends, okay? I, I can do what I want with them. Well, then you suck, no? Go ahead. Listen, saying I'm probably one of the best youngest players in my team. I think it's just because I probably have the most experience out of all the young players. You had the most experience out of all the young players? We yeah. started when you were 16. Well, I. I said no, 14. Yeah. yeah, I started then. But, like, I had plenty of competitions and experience. Mm-hmm. And actual trading, so like, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of unfair to them, I guess, maybe because they're just been playing around here all their lives, and some of them are actually are from. I mean, you you um, can't say that again because we're go- if we're gonna go back to the uh, uh, climate and the Africans that were poor, and then the only thing they do is play football. They don't okay, the thing them. is, it's like they're good. No doubt about that. Okay, they're good, but when it comes to competitions, they get nervous and they get excited, and then they start doing stuff like they start not being able to think straight. Maybe they do the wrong thing and stuff like that. It just it gets to them, and that thing that you can only overcome that with experience, and that and that's what I have because I had that before. Like I had it until I was sixteen every competition nervous i was basically shaking before the match i was super nervous i messed up i like they couldn't really think straight or play properly and stuff like that but then once you like build up the more experience and then you start like you know being more calm like oh yeah i did this before i know what i'm doing like yeah that's it so yeah <laughs> they're good they're good they are good. They just need to, you know, calm down during the match. Calm down, think straight, like think properly, just play like you usually do, you know? Well, I usually suck at playing as well, so. <laughs> anyway, saying, like, yeah, I just have more experience than them. I'm pretty sure if they get more experience, they'll start being calmer and then making better decisions when we're playing and stuff like that so yeah fun fun very fun what are you doing are you high no (laughs) i've never been sure sure say you want you want some of this huh you want some of this i may have gotten high from that (laughs) Yeah, this isn't even. Never mind. We already went off about that. Disgusting. Hmm. Well, I think that's a good point to leave off. I guess. Okay. What did we learn today? Oh my God! The moral of the story. Durians suck. Durians are delicious. Liver sucks. It's. It shouldn't be called liver. It should be called death. Well, it's because called liver it's... for a reason because it makes you live. Yeah, it makes you die, that's for sure. It should be called death or diver. Di- dire. No, not diver. What the f- Dire. I don't know. Freaking death. Defer. Freaking. 
I need an er in there. Uh, ah. <clears throat> ah. And tasting your own piss is just fine. Bear Girls is fake. And uh, Premier, I mean, Thailand sucks at football no matter what we do, what we get, no matter how rich we are. We only sponsor outside teams instead of our own. Yeah. <laughs> Lester. Uh, um, yeah, Italy, uh, fair play, whatever. We're going to win anyways. So. Yeah, don't be racist against the people who missed the penalties. I guess we didn't talk about that, but yeah, just respect to both teams, okay? They both made it that far. So, <laughs> like all um, bad stuff, what uh, shit talk aside, they both made it that far, so respect. Eh, not Taylor, but whatever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> have football fans be like that. <laughs> uh anything else um don't be stupid and drive a bike with no gas in it <laughs> it's not my fault we had to fill it up nonetheless anyways okay we're getting and we're in. and also we kill the people we love to save random strangers all right <laughs> what? <It's> good. <laughs> okay that's it from us uh uh, links are in the description, and I hope it's actually episode 12. Uh, yep, we'll be signing off. We'll see you next week, hopefully. Yep. We're using the same outro from last one. <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Hopefully, we're full. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yep. Bye. Yeah.